I'm at the 9-11 Memorial Museum and I'm joined by Cheyenne Hyde. Cheyenne, thanks so much for talking with us today. Yeah, of course. Can we go take a look around inside? Yeah. All right, let's go. Tell us about the wall behind us. Okay, so the story wall that we see was erected in the 1960s, so that's before the Twin Towers were even here. Because right behind it, after some earth, you have the Hudson River. So they had to waterproof this area before they can build the Twin Towers, because then the Hudson River would have started flooding into this area. So basically what you're looking at is a 70-foot trench that was once filled with slurry, which is a mixture of water and bentonite, but it's a, uh, it stabilizes the trench that you just created, temporary waterproofing. You then lower it into steel cages and you pour in concrete, which pushes out the slurry. And once your, everything dries, you have a steel reinforced concrete wall that is completely waterproof. And the reason we have it here in the museum is for us, but also for the men and women that came immediately after the attacks for that rescue and recovery operation. It stood as a symbol of strength. This wall did not breach after 9-11. It stood standing, even though it was severely weakened. This nation, those affected by 9-11, did not breach after the attacks. It made them stronger. So we're actually not just looking at an artifact, but we're... We are standing in an artifact with the archaeological remnants of the Twin Towers, with uh, the slurry wall, everything in this museum is an artifact, with the museum itself being an artifact. Wow. Well, thank you so much for talking thank about this Thank you so today. much.